Hey everyone, this is David, the Porcelain King from Toledo Antique Mall. Welcome to my channel, Gold Quest. And today uh, we're going to do an unboxing video from an auction I went to. Now, this is an online auction, so actually this is the first time I'm seeing a lot of these things that I bought. And also, I want to tell you about a really big sale we made recently. We'll start with that. is the item that we sold this week and uh we have to pack it up and ship it which is a little bit nerve-wracking because it's got a big glass front on there but this is a howard miller pendulum wall clock and um i thought when i bought it it was worth about a thousand dollars it turns out we sold it for about 800 so uh, when you're buying things like this you want to give yourself some wiggle room because you might not get quite what you think you're going to but 800 dollars is pretty good i'm pretty happy i actually did wind this clock and um it was working at one time so um, I had some practice working with a clock and it's a pretty nice item and we made some money. All right, well, let's get started uh, checking out the items that I recently bought at the online auction. Like I said, this is the first time I've seen them and it's the first time you're seeing them. here. So uh, this vase is pretty cool. This was described as an American art glass vase, but then in the description it said that it was signed LC Tiffany on the bottom. So I actually only paid $70 for this. So um, that's a really good price for this item. If it's authentic uh, Tiffany glass, I'm not sure if it's the real thing. I find it hard to believe that I bought an authentic Tiffany Studios vase of this size for $70 because if this is authentic, it's probably worth more like 3000 Okay, so I kind of peeked in this box and um, what's in here is a very large piece of porcelain. So it's gonna take me a minute to get it out. Um, it's Dresden porcelain from Germany and it's supposed to be the marriage of Napoleon. So a very large figurine. Come take a look over here. Hopefully I can lift this. Okay, here we go. So this porcelain's about uh, 25 inches by 11 inches. And they said that it was in very good condition. There was just a small chip on top of the carriage, uh, which I can see right here on the corner of the carriage. There's a little chip, but yes, this is uh, what the marriage of Napoleon likely looked like. <laughs> so yeah, this is a Dresden figurine. Um, I thought it was a very large figurine, so I was happy to get it. It's got multiple figures, um, so I thought it would be a nice addition to my antique store. And then let me see if I can show you guys the bottom of it without breaking it. Let me see if I can get that. Okay, there's some markings on the bottom. And then you can see on the side, it says Marriage of Napoleon. So one of the larger figurines I have in my antique store. All right. So when I picked this up, the gentleman told me this was a clock. 
Um, Pendulum. You see, don't want to throw the pieces out. That's always bad. But actually, you have to be careful when you're unboxing things. Huh. Little chime hammer. And the key for the clock. No one else bid on this clock except for me. Well, I think I got it kind of cheap. Looks like the chime just went off. It's kind of neat. Very old wood. But I've seen several clocks with those initials RA on them before. That's why I bought this one. But yeah, a little damage to the clock. But like I said, I didn't pay too much, so. Okay, let's see what's in this box. So it's very fragile, so it's probably my, my kind of item in here. Find out what this is. Okay. So um, this is a set of Spode Copeland uh, China. You can see it says Tatman Chicago. So looks like these plates were originally sold out of Chicago, a store in Chicago. Pretty nice. Let's see what these other plates are. I like Spode because it's a hot seller on the internet. These are even nicer. See, I like these ones a little bit better. These say Calden, Calden China. Huh. So it does not say Spode, but they're very similar to these other plates. So maybe someone had these custom made. They're pretty nice. Here's another plate for you to look at. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, these say called in on there as well. You can see on the back, actually, 
some of the plates have slightly different markings. So that's very interesting. <clears throat> but there's like a basket with a gold wreath around the edge. Pretty nice. I'll try not to break them. Let's see what's over here. Probably more of those, I imagine. Third to get over. Ooh. This looks pretty nice. Uh, it's Crescent China. And I like the gold work on there. Very nice plates. And then you can see on the back. I'll show you the front too. So yeah, actually I wanted to spode more, but these are actually a little bit nicer, I think. It's always a little different when you see things in person. You'll always be surprised. If you bid online on an auction, there's always gonna be something unexpected when you see the actual item. So uh, if you do that, you're in for surprises. Okay, we got a couple more bags of things to show you. Uh, cool items, hopefully. See if there's anything I'm disappointed with. Double wrap. Okay. Wow. Now that is a teacup. This this is I think this is my favorite thing I purchased at the auction. Uh, I think these are Dresden teacups. So from Dresden, Germany, which is a town that was heavily bombed in World War II and uh, looks like they made a lot of artistic porcelain. So I think a lot of porcelain got uh, damaged in the war. Let's take another look. Oh, this is the one that's chipped. See, they included the chip with it. So we have the chip, as you can see here, there's a chip on that cup. But I mean, the scenes on these cups are beautiful. You see like the painting, the hand painting, it's phenomenal. Wow. Okay, I could not paint a scene that small and that beautiful. I When I saw these cups at that auction, I thought that they were like potentially museum quality teacups and I love museum quality teacups. So you can see the handle of this teacup. It's a little difficult to hold actually. So I'm not sure how easy it is to drink tea out of this, but it looks like a griffin to me. When I was bidding at the auction, I thought it was a dragon, but now I think it looks more like a griffin or a bird. But yeah, look at that photo on the teacup. Let's see. They're like all different little photos. Wow. Now that's amazing. So glad I bought these. Okay. Huh. Now I think see if this is the same I don't see it. yes see these two have the same uh, thing on them. Let's see here's another one okay okay this painting is a little bit different. One time I sold a teacup that was similar to these for over $700. And I didn't even pay that. I mean, I, well, never mind. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Yes. Another little 
portrait. I love the little portraits on these pizzas. Here's another one. So I think there's a couple that are uh, similar. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Um, make sure you share our channel with your friends because when we hit a thousand subscribers, we're going to be uh, giving away a very nice piece of sterling silver jewelry. It's a bracelet, a uh, sterling silver and lapis bracelet. Um, so definitely share, like, and subscribe. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit more common for this set. See, this is the type of thing I will buy all day long. Hand-painted porcelain teacups. It's one of my favorite things. And they, they sell very well. Huh. Looks like a slightly different scene. Seen this one before. Okay. I think these are the plates that go with it. Yes, you can see a beautiful, beautiful plate. I've wanted a set of teacups like this for years. And a couple years ago, this type of thing, I would have had to pay five times the price to get it. And I might not have even been able to get it for that. Very careful not to break or damage these plates. We're running out of room. So the interesting thing is one of these plates is not like the rest. If you look very carefully, this one has a raised edge. So, I mean, this might've been for like a creamer, something different, you know, uh, but it's definitely not like the rest. Let's put these teacups with the saucers and see how they look. This, this type of teacup looks like it could be like for the Queen of England. But yeah, when I saw this, I knew I wanted it. They only estimated the value of this at the auction house, 200 to $400. I think that is um, a large underestimate, but the market could have changed since the last time I sold this type of thing. Um, but yeah, this is definitely my favorite item so far that I found in this unboxing. So this is the uh, phenomenal set of teacups that I found. Um, there's one chipped cup unfortunately, but at least they sent the chip with it. And then there is this um, other plate that's a little bit different from the other ones. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, Dresden teacup set. Watch out for these, because these are big money, very collectible and definitely beautiful to have around. 
This is the type of thing that if uh, you need for a good Christmas present, like say your wife or girlfriend likes antiques and you really want to like blow her away, uh, this is a great type of item to get for Christmas or Valentine's Day. Um, so watch out for these because this makes a phenomenal present. I mean, this is the type of thing that if you get this for your wife, uh, significant other, then they'll probably keep it the rest of their life. So we have one more bag to check out. Okay. So this figurine I bought because it's called Royal Ducks and I don't have very much Royal Ducks here at the antique store. In fact, I don't think I have any. Um, so I wanted this as an example of a different type of porcelain that's pretty rare and um, you don't see very often. So looks like somebody had this at an antique store. They got the tag still from the antique store. It says $187.95 they were trying to get for it. And maybe they did get that, but I'm not sure how much I'll get for it. But I wanted to show you uh, the marking of Royal Ducks. So Royal Ducks is a triangular marking. Now this is a paper uh, sticker that's on the back, but on the inside of this figurine, you can see the characteristic uh, pink marking, which is actually in the porcelain. Um, so pretty cool, pretty nice little figurine. It's not my favorite, but it's an example of Royal Ducks and I didn't have any here. See, like the thing is you never know when somebody is going to have something similar to something you have or um, if you need an example of it then it just kind of uh, builds a little bit of connection with your customer um, something to talk about so this is another royal ducks figurine looks like they had 189.95 on this one so you can see the nice markings on the inside. It says Royal Ducks, D-U-X, uh, and then the pink uh, marking, but cool figurine. Looks like this guy has a violin and a book, and then she has a violin as well. I think that's a violin, <laughs> but it's a mu musical duet. And I really like the blue and gold in the porcelain. Um, you see blue and gold with porcelain, that's usually pretty good. I don't know what this is. Let's see. Oh, so uh, this piece is a little uh, S. Kirk sterling silver dish. This, uh, there wasn't any bidders on this, so I think I was the only bidder and uh, got the item. A lot of the items I buy are items where I am the only bidder because there's either somebody who's not interested in the item at the auction and it has some value, so I throw a bid in, or uh, the porcelain is uh, something that not a whole lot of people are interested in currently, but I sell porcelain like crazy, so I don't understand it. Um, but yeah, so that's why I got that one sterling silver dish. It's like, oh, that's cheap, I'll get that. This one as well, this had no bidders. This had no bidders except for me. I wasn't gonna buy it, but then I was like, you know, it's really sweet. Actually, there's another piece here for this. I've made some really good sales before on floral porcelain items. So this reminded me of something else I sold, painted porcelain with flowers. If you watch my other videos, you'll see what I mean. Of course, that other piece was better than this one, but... A lot of times, one reason I buy something is because I've sold something similar to it in the past. Yeah. 
we got? I thought that the flowers on this, they called this a jardinier. Uh, so this is like a planter for flowers, but definitely, I thought these were beautiful flowers on here. Uh, it looks like roses with uh, thorns. You know, the quality of the painting, I've probably seen better, but I don't think I paid very much for this. Uh, this is marked on the bottom of this piece of porcelain is B and Co France. And then on the bottom of this piece of porcelain is JPL France. So kind of interesting. Maybe these were blanks that somebody put together. This one's really neat. The bottom is actually really neat because it's got like uh, little lion's claws for feet. So I actually didn't notice that when I was bidding on it because like I said, this is the first time I've seen this myself because I was just throwing in internet bids. But yeah, the porcelain in the local market is totally dead, which allows you to make amazing purchases for things that are, say, of international interest or national interest. You know, someone in New York City or New Jersey might want a nice piece of porcelain, uh, but in Toledo, Ohio, it's going to be virtually impossible to sell. So you could get it extremely cheap um, and then you put it in the mail, pack it up with some bubble wrap and you're going to make big money. Maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. So you guys have seen some really cool inventory that I brought into my antique store recently. Um, we got these Royal Ducks figurine, a little um, Sterling Silver S. Kirk. They called it a repoussé uh, dish, maybe for some candies or something used back in the day. And then this is a porcelain jardinier. We showed you phenomenal Dresden teacups and saucers that are like really bombshell. Um, we showed you a porcelain figure, figurine of the marriage of Napoleon, which like I've never seen a porcelain figurine that big before. It's really cool, really sweet. It even had like French writing on the side and that was a Dresden uh, porcelain figurine. We showed you a vase, which they called an American art glass vase, which actually is signed LC Tiffany on the bottom. So if that's Lewis Comfort Tiffany. I mean, that pays for everything else here today that we showed you. And um, I think, oh, we showed you this um, kind of cool uh, little clock that uh, I brought in and we showed you a clock that we sold recently for like $800. So um, hopefully you learned something useful uh, in your own adventure uh, while you're antiquing. I'm telling you, look out for the porcelain because this stuff is better than gold. Thank you so much for tuning into our video today and make sure uh, if you enjoyed it that you like and subscribe to our channel so that we can keep bringing you examples of really cool items that we're finding out and about in our area uh, while hunting for antiques and that you can find in your area as well and uh, that will help me make money and you make money.